It's more than your typical steakhouse. It became a celebrity hangout. From world leaders to Hollywood's biggest names, Jeff Ruby's was the place to be. However, the biggest Cincinnati sports stars received a special place in the restaurant. Steak Collinsworth had a nice, rolled off the tongue pretty cool too. That Collinsworth name sounded good. And of course he was a rookie, so he went on the menu. He'd been, he'd been on the menu now for 42 years. <laughs> He names dishes after athletes, but Jeff Ruby's restaurants are definitely not sports bars. Why has that been important for you over the years to keep, you know, the Cincinnati sports tie with the restaurant? Because they, um, the guests, our guests want that. They like that. What does it take for a player to get their name on your menu? A lot of them ask. I, I mean, they ask if they can be on the menu. And I'm talking about, you know, major players. I'm talking about the stars in the sports. Today's biggest star in Cincinnati did not have to ask. Long before Joe Burrow was a Bengal, there was a steak Burrow taste test in Columbus. Although almost the entire football world thought Joe Burrow was going to be the next Bengals quarterback, Ruby explained steak Burrow found its spot on the menu for a different reason. When I saw the speech he gave accepting the Heisman Trophy. And I'm up here for all those, all those kids in Athens and in Athens County that, you know, go home to not a lot of food on the table, hungry after school, and you guys can be up here too. That moved me. And that's where I thought about, and our foundation deals with similar things with childhood poverty in Cincinnati. The table is set. The next step connecting State Borough to Joe Burrow. It's an esoteric process, you know, and we get creative. The Heisman Trophy speech inspired the name. It's only fitting the meal being owed to Burroughs' alma mater, Louisiana State University, Cajun style. A 14 ounce blackened strip with original Creole crawfish sauce. It's one thing to name a steak after someone, it's another to win them over entirely. This They're is... saying there's a steak named after you here. Yeah. You tried it? <laughs> That's what Mike I did. Yeah. Burrow approves. And so do I. That's a big one. Reporting and full downtown in Cincinnati, Marshall Kramsky, WCPO 9 News. Mm -hmm.